Hello, welcome to another Taffmeister's uh, video about how to do things with your Hoosberg. Um, the age old problem with the uh, all the Hoosbergs up to the end of 2003 is the sem ignition and most people don't realise what a bad effect they have on their starting. The first problem the factory uh, have is that they never actually marked the flywheel in the correct position. The correct line before top dead center is five degrees but they mark this one ten degrees before top so that's ten before top five before top and therefore there is no line for top dead center so we mark a fresh line we scratch the line it's equidistant to the right of the first two you can have it in about half a millimeter to a millimeter but there is ideal we've come in it's nearly equidistant and then we mark it with a tip x correction pen okay so that's genuine tdc this engine is now because it's under this screw it's now at top dead center the cover when it goes on has however got the hole in another place just slightly to the right of center and we've got the white line on the stator there the stator is adjustable and that ideally would start out as half to one mil to the left of center as you look through the window now Stephen's looking at that and that's pretty much central to slightly to the left of center we're on about the lower white line the static white line that is half to one mil to the left of center that is what we think we're going to need to get the ignition timing right on this bike. We're going to try and start it up in a moment, then we're going to put a strobe on it and obviously I make a lot of noise. So just to tell you before we do that, what we do. This is an old fashioned uh, snap on strobe we use. It's connected to the HT lead there. We've got a negative to the earth on the engine and a positive to the battery on the bike which we can reach we could have used this battery here um, the motocrossers the FC model we'll use one of those and this gun's ready to go so we're going to start the bike we're going to screw the cover down we're going to start the bike put the strobe on it and then I'll stop it and tell you a little about what we've discovered I've no idea what we've got but that's perhaps the best way to do this video so we'll talk to you in part two in a moment. 